Yeah, here we go. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, Sunday School class. We're doing something a little different today. Uh, sometimes I like to get certain truths across that are very, very important in the Bible. And one of the most important truths that we have in the Bible um, that needs to be known and understood by everybody is the important Bible doctrine of the Trinity, uh, meaning there are three, um, three persons to the Godhead. We have one God in three persons, and it's called the Holy Trinity, and uh, we're, uh, true Christianity is Trinitarian, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Now, turn in your Bibles uh, this morning to 1 John uh, 5, verse 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, which the Word is called often in the Bible, Jesus Christ, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. So for our Sunday School Hour, we're going to talk about the Trinity. Let's pray a moment. Lord, help us to understand the... Uh, one of the fundamental uh, doctrines uh, of Christianity is the Holy Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, Jesus Christ, and God the Holy Ghost. And let us uh, have understanding on this today, we ask in Jesus' name, amen. Now, there are many mentions of the Trinity in the Bible, and God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, and their their ability to always work in unity and harmony together uh, in the work of God. Now the reason I'm using 1 John 5, 7 because it's the most descriptive verse in the Bible. It's the most descriptive verse in the Bible about the Holy Trinity, the three in one, 1 John 5, 7. Now uh, does it surprise you at all that all of the new translations that have come from the Horton Westcott text from the mid 1800s eliminate 1 John 5 7, all of them. If you've got a Bible, uh, a church, one of our folks in Sunday school this morning are out there in, uh, uh, in Facebook audience, and turn to it. <clears throat> and, if, and, and, and if you don't read this about it being, as it says here, uh, for there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. If you don't have that in the, the version of the Bible that you use, I would get rid of it because it's not a Bible. Uh, why would anybody remove the Trinity, one of the most important doctrines of the Bible? So we're going to talk about the Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and God the Holy Ghost. So these three are one. Now let's let's talk about it. Now, uh, church uh, Sunday school class, church folks, I want you to interact with me in Sunday school. We uh, we like to do that, <coughs> and um, <coughs> let's just talk about it a little bit. Now, <coughs> of course, we see uh, uh, the Bible says that uh, there is uh, one God, that there is one God, and. Uh, we believe in that. We, uh, we, we believe that there is one God. But that God, the one God, consists of three persons. God the Father, God the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, and God the Holy Ghost. So we have three persons but one God. Three persons but one God. This is a very important Bible truth of, of Christianity. And if we do not have a, a, a if if we don't have that, the Bible's not true. And let me again uh, <clears throat> remind you again that the clearest description of of the Holy God that is one God in three persons is First John five seven. For there are three that bear record in heaven: the Father, the Word, which is Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. The strongest verse in the Bible. Now, all of the uh, uh, you get you uh, get you uh, uh, 
NIV Bible. They use so many. By the way, the NIV Bible, uh, isn't it interesting that over the years that it's been out, it's been out a number of years, they keep changing the NIV Bible. They, they, they're, they're changing it regularly. And uh, m m many of these new versions of the Bible are changed and changed and changed. And uh, that's that that that's quite regular, and, and so many people use the uh, NIV Bible, and this verse is is not in the NIV Bible; it's uh, it's eliminated. And any any uh, the good news for modern man, it's eliminated, uh, and on and on. So this is the uh, uh, this is the truth of the Word of God that we have. A triune God, God the Father, God. Now I'm going to ask you some questions, Sunday school class, and and uh, we're glad you're here. I believe in Sunday school, and we're we're glad that uh, <clears throat> we have pretty good turnout here this morning in Sunday school, and we've got the we're going to have a baptismal service again today, and we've got the baptistry warming up, and we baptized last week, and God being our helper. Uh, we're going to be baptizing every Sunday from now on. We might start baptizing twice on Sunday, and we might start baptizing during the week too, because that's what they did in the Bible. Uh, they baptized regularly, and whenever you saw salvation in the Bible, you saw baptisms, and and uh, so we're going to be baptizing again today, as we did last Sunday, and and we're going to uh, we're going to keep water in our baptistry here, and we're going to keep. Uh, uh, I told Johnny that yesterday, uh, Billy Joe, and when I didn't even have a baptistry, when when I used to go over there uh, to baptize at uh, his church uh, and and use his baptistry. What you got? What is that in your hand? What what, what what's in your other hand? Yeah, bring them up here and put them on the altar. Surrender them. Is that what you're planning on doing today? You plan on surrendering Amen. your cigarettes? Amen. Give him a hand. Came into church. He had the cigarettes in his hand. I said, put them on the altar. That's a big step. Amen. That's good. That's good, Wade. That ain't an empty box, is it? <laughs> I, I, I won't tell you about. I won't tell you a story. I like to tell stories. Uh, we'll, we'll talk more about the Trinity today too. But I had a guy. We used to, when I was in uh, Milwaukee. I, I worked for a telephone company. I was a supervisor. Uh, I got saved when I was actually a PBX installer. But then I was a supervisor after that. And I had an hour lunch, and I didn't have that much to do on my hour lunch. So I used to go soul wedding uh, in. Uh, in uh, Washington Park, there. In anybody familiar with Milwaukee, Washington Park's a, uh, it's it's a big park there, a public park. Are you, are you familiar with Milwaukee? Yeah. Do you know where Washington Park? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Washington Park. Yeah. I, you from, I didn't know that. Did you know I was from Milwaukee? Yeah. Is that right? how long did you live in Milwaukee? Did you? I used to be in charge of the Milwaukee Rescue Mission for years. It's there a 19th and state between state and Wells, and uh, right down there in Marquette University. But anyway, that's well, so you know what. So I I used to go to Washington Park on my lunch hour, uh, and I used to uh, witness in the park on my lunch hour. And a lot of times, especially you go there in the summer, kids are out of school, they'd be playing there. And I'd win a lot of people to Christ in, in the park. And <clears throat> I, I want a couple of kids to Christ that live right next to the park there. And they started coming to Sunday school on the bus. And their mother started coming, too. She was a Christian. She was from down south. They moved to Milwaukee. And uh, she started coming, too. And they liked the church and everything. So I, I went with my soul winning partner, and we went on visitation night to, to their house because the daddy wasn't saved. And the mother was a very sweet lady. She was very, very nice. And the sweetest lady. And we come there, and when we got it, when I knocked on the door and she opened the door, uh, she was always so sweet and smiling and talked so nice to her. She's just a sweet Christian lady. 
and she had shock and fear on her face when we appeared at the door. And I didn't know what was the matter. And I greeted her, but she's very nervous and everything. I said, I don't know what's the matter. And uh, I says, is your husband home? We'd like to talk to him. So I want to witness to him uh, for Christ. And uh, and then she went and asked her husband. She says, uh, the, uh, I wasn't a pastor of the church. And she said, two men from a church are here, and uh, they want to talk to you. And he said, have them come in. And so I went in. I sat down in the living room, and and uh, I'm trying to think of the guy's name. He was a he was a guy that he didn't have any neck. Now you know what I mean when a guy didn't have any neck. He's just a uh, 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 he was like a bear. Uh, you know he's a hairy guy and he didn't have a uh, neck and he's just huge and big, powerful arms on him and everything and. Yeah, yeah, he, he just to look at him, he'd scare you to death, just to look at the man, you know. And, and he didn't say much. He didn't say much. He says, uh, um, man, I wish his name would come to me. It will eventually. But anyway, we sat down and said, we're from the church, and, and, and we were wondering, uh, we want to come see you, and uh, we love your kids come to Sunday school, and your wife comes and that, and we just want to come and meet you. And we got folks who asked, what kind of work do you do? He says, uh, uh, I do, uh, 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 his, his profession was he made stained glass windows. That was his profession. But he could do anything, any, anything mechanical. I mean, anything, uh, he could just do anything with his hands. He was a tremendously talented man. I didn't know, he told me he was a glazer, does that kind of work. In. And I says, if you, uh, if, you, if, if, you know, if you die tonight, do you know you go to heaven? And, and he says, no. He's just very... Abrupt, didn't say much. No. I says, would you like to, would you like to know how to go to heaven? He says, yes. And uh, and I, I, I told him uh, how to be saved. I took him down to Romans Road. I says, you know, Romans 3.10 says that there is none righteous, no, not one. And and Romans 3.23 says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And and uh, I, I says, and, and, and Romans 5.8 says, wherefore as by one man sinned, came into the world and death by sin and so death passed upon all men for that all have sinned and, and I took it to Romans 6 23 and I said the wages of sin is death <clears throat> but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord and I took him down the Romans road a little further <clears throat> and I says if uh, uh, Romans 10 9 9 and 10 that thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God had raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved and then I took him to Romans 10 13 and where it says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. And, uh, and I says, uh, 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 do, do, do you believe that? And uh, uh, he says, yes, sir. Uh, and I says, do you want to be saved? He says, yes, sir. Uh, and I says, will you pray with me? He says, yes, sir. And, and so, he, so he prayed with me, asked the Lord to save me. I says, pray with me. And I says, pray this prayer. He says, dear Lord Jesus, dear Lord Jesus. I says, I believe you died for me. I believe you died for me. Uh, I believe you rose again from the grave the third day. I believe you rose again from the grave the third day. Uh, and the best I know how, I trust you with all my heart. And repent of my sins. The best I know how, with all of my heart, repent of my sins. Amen. I said, um, did, you, did, you, did you pray the prayer? He said, real matter-of-factly, yes. And... Uh, I says, will you come to church Sunday and, and report to the church uh, that you've been saved? That's what I used to do when you get, that's what you should be doing. You get someone saved during the week and bring them to church here on Sunday. Bring them forward in vacation time. And uh, he says, yes. I walked out of there with my soul went in, buddy. And I said, do you think he meant it? I mean, some people, you, some people will cry. What? Yeah. I says, some people are crying. I says, you think he meant it? I didn't think he meant it. He was so matter of fact, and I thought he'd just get me off his back. You know, some people do that, just get you off your back to pray a prayer. Sure enough, here he shows up in church the next Sunday morning with his wife and his kids. He used to drive a fancy Oldsmobile two-door sedan, and it had a seat on it that actually turned out sideways. You remember what, what year was that? 
I can't remember. It was an Oldsmobile, though. And when you get there, I think he got it like that because he's a, he's a big dude. And you could, that, that seat had actually turned outward where you could just, like, go right out on the, on the, you know, right out on the street. But anyway, it was it was a fancy Oldsmobile with bucket seats, and that bucket seat is slide sideways. And anyway, he come, and at, and, and at invitation time, uh, he came forward. He was baptized at some, and the, the the reason I'm telling this story is he put his cigarettes on the altar. He gave up his cigarettes. He was the best worker. That that he rebuilt that church. They they were remodeling. The church was growing like crazy. It started with just a pastor and his family, and it grew just within a couple years to twelve, fifteen hundred people. There was people saved all the time, saved and baptized in that church. Ever ever ever. I mean, it was wonderful. It was it was the biggest thing going in in Milwaukee. And it was in. Uh, uh, do, do, do you remember where the state fairground was in in West Dallas? Do you, you remember? Do you remember the State Fair Park in West Dallas? Well, that was right down. The, it was right down the street from the from the State Fair. Uh, I think on 78th Street. It was Central Central Baptist Church was was the name of the church. It was in West Dallas, and it was an old warehouse. They could they they changed it into church. But he did all that stuff, and 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 he was. He was amazing. He he witnessed so, and he was just everybody loved the guy. I preached his funeral. He had moved out of town. He moved out of town and bought a. He was selling dogs. He was in the uh, selling dogs, retrievers or something, and he was out in the country. And I preached his funeral, and everybody in the county came to his funeral, and uh, I preached at his funeral. About fifty people were saved at his funeral. But I, 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 I thought about him, because he surrendered. Anybody else want to bring their cigarettes? He before the church is over. Anybody else got talking to? We got we got one box of cigarettes up here. Or them, them cheap, they're them little cheap cigars. They're cheaper than cigarettes, but he brought them right up. Was you showing that to me because you wanted me to call you up on them? Huh? I'm glad you turned them in. How about out there? Anybody out there on Facebook need to turn the cigarettes in today? You don't have to bring them to the altar. Put them down on the floor, stomp on them, stomp on them, jump on them, stomp on them, and crush them so you couldn't make no sense of them anymore, and then throw them in the garbage. Put the devil under your feet, amen. That's what you ought to do. Uh, my, my, my preacher friend, Jack Hiles, uh, when, when he was young, uh, his mother used to tear out uh, ads out of the paper whiskey ads and cigarette ads out of the paper and, and, and out of the magazine, you know, and she'd tear it out and, 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 and put it on the floor. And his mother would stomp on the cigarette ads and stomp on the liquor ads and said, bad, bad, he was just a little bitty kid, couldn't hardly talk. And, 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 and she stomped on him and she said, stomp on him and say bad, bad, evil. And that's the way his mother brought her up <laughs> since he was a little boy. That's a good way for mama to bring up a little boy, don't you think? Yeah. Did he grow up to ever smoke? Huh? Did he grow up smoking or not? Never smoke, never drank, never sinned. No, he did sin. Everybody sinned. <laughs> yeah, he had to sin. But anyway, Wade Phillips, his uncle was a famous football coach, right? <laughs> was he in relation to yours? That's Bob Phillips. Huh? Jack Phillips. Huh? Huh? Bump Phillips. The, uh, the, uh, oh, his name wasn't was Wade? Cowboys. I was actually, I was in Denver, Colorado, and I got into a cab. Yeah. And he says, he says, what's your name? I said, Wade. He said, Wade what? I said, Wade Phillips. He says, can I see your ID? Because I'm going to call my dispatcher right now and let him know I got Wade Phillips in my cab. Yeah. Not me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't me. I got a <laughs> It was me, but it wasn't him. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, God bless you for bringing them in. Don't change your mind on them, sir. I better not leave them here too long. I turn around, someone will snatch them up. Gary, give me them, give me them spokes over here. There you go. Yeah, there's cigarettes in there. <laughs> 
Mostly ends and stuff, and stubs. It's all right. You give. That's all right. But you give him up. He's gonna suck on him. He's gonna smoke him. Amen. Anybody out there in Facebook now? You're a smoker, and you're gonna get rid of your 305s or your. I used to smoke Paul Mall. I used to smoke three and a half packs a day. Camels on too. You smoke camels? That's what your daddy smoked, yeah. camels. So you used to, you used to, oh, you used to steal your daddy's cigarettes, smoke the camels. Only one went behind the haystack. I'm cutting through. Tell daddy we sold you had a cheap cigarettes. Cool not filter. You ever smoke cool not filter? I smoke cools. I don't like cools. Supposed to be smooth on your throat. I smoke Paul Malls never any filter. But anyway, anybody out there? Are you going to quit smoking now? Uh, send up a sign. Send up a hearts or thumbs up or something. Anybody out there quitting smoking today? Come on now. Do you smoke? First of all, if you smoke, send up a, some kind of signal that you smoke. Maybe I got no smokers watching me or maybe they're not honest. I don't know. Maybe we'll get some more. Come on, Sunday school. But wait, I'm glad for, you, for your decision. Well, let's get back to the Holy Ghost. 5 7, 1 John 5 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father, capital F, that's the uh, boss man. The Father's in charge. We're trying to change the Bible today. That's what they're doing, is trying to change the Bible. This, this uh, uh, woman, is, is that door open back there, Brad? Someone just tried the door and it didn't open for him. Right here in the middle. Yeah, I get that old. Maybe he's coming down the other door. It's a guy I know. He'd been here. He had been here a long time. Um, he there? Yeah, let him in over there. Um, father's number one. Jesus Christ the Son. How have you been? Hello. Good to see you. Oh, wow. Glad you're back. Uh, the Father's the boss man. Now you wouldn't know it by listening to the uh, bunch of uh, lesbians and, and uh, this uh, you know this woman's uh, rights movement and all this is equal rights women things run by a bunch of lesbians. You know that. That's that's, that's what runs it. A bunch of lesbians. And uh, now they say women are equal. Yeah, women are equal. They get saved the same way as a man. But there's there's always positions of authority, and the boss in the family is the father. Daddy's the boss. I mean, that's what the Bible says. I'm just going by the Bible. Now, we go against the Bible today. And uh, all of this baloney, it's anti-Bible. It's anti-Christ. They, they don't have any father. And they even, uh, uh, the, the, the lesbians even have their own Bible. And uh, they, they change the Bible. And it's a fake Bible that says he, uh, that it, 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 doesn't it doesn't say father. It says father or mother. And uh, and when it says God, it says God the Father or Mother, and they 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 try to make it uh, non-gender. Yeah. I mean, is that what they're trying to do now? Is make everything non-gender? No. Well, that's the Catholics worshiping the Queen of Heaven. That's Mary. Mary's the Queen of Heaven, you know. I think that was Mary too, back in the Old Testament too. I just believe it always has been. I believe it's a form of brainwash. brainwash. Oh well, yeah, of course it is. Know, it's devil. In that direction. They you say you know they'll, they'll yeah. They already have this power. So we have a Father in heaven, and Jesus Christ, the Son, always reported to the Father, just like in the family. The wife is supposed to report to the father, and the children are supposed to report to the father. Now, 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 the father, 
give some authority to the mother to watch over the children because she's home more with the children. But we have a father, and then we have a son, Jesus Christ. Now, that's both masculine, isn't it? Father and son, that, that's both uh, masculine. And uh, they want to have a, 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 not, a, not, a lot of false religions have a female deity. Like you say, Mary, uh, Queen of Heaven, and, and uh, on and on and on. But in true biblical Christianity, and true Bible teaching, we have God the Father, God the Son, who is the Lord Jesus Christ, and God the Holy Ghost. So in our Sunday school class this morning, it's what we're teaching on. A triune God, God the Father, and by the way, the Son, Jesus Christ, He always did the will of the Father. They always worked in, 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 in total harmony. So remember that. And this movement that they have today of, of uh, uh, all of this, I, I was saying that there's so much a mess. In, uh, you know how the Hollywood horrors and, and uh, everything now are coming out and, and they're saying, uh, uh, you know, the Hollywood horrors are saying now, well, me too. They got a new movement now. Me too. Uh, 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 who's that sex pervert uh, that was raping all them... Uh, young girls and having sex with all them young girls in Hollywood. What was his Weinstein? name? Weinstein. Yeah, Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein. Uh, big pervert. There's all kinds of there's all kinds of sexual perverts in Hollywood, men and women. And most, I, I, I was thinking about this. He, these women say, well, a fella, I seen one, who was it there trying to blame some preacher or something? And uh, some woman says, well, 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 he, call, uh, he called me sexy. He called me sexy, so he ought to resign his church because he called me sexy. Why, why do you think a man would call a woman sexy? Just, just, just the, way, the way she dresses. She dresses like a whore. She's showing her breasts. She's showing her thigh. She's wearing tight clothes. And, 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 and then they wonder. Uh, why someone call their sexy or or uh, uh, I mean it's like they're like what advertising huh come on now fellas how, how, how many of you now fellas let's go I'm not going to give you names or anything like that but I mean just common sense that's it. I'll raise my hand with you if you see some woman dressed like Jezebel showing her thigh and showing her breasts and painting her face up like a Hollywood whore it seems like she's advertising something. Do you agree with me, fellas? That's the kind of woman that's advertising for sex. Yeah, and so here now we got the Me Too movement, and they're all coming out, and, and uh, uh, they're not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying uh, that a modest uh, woman that dressed modest, I'm not saying, uh, but men don't usually uh, call them sexy or go over after them trying to grab them, do they? Huh? I'm just telling you the truth. But now we got this Me Too movement in 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 Hollywood, and uh, uh, it's it's coming into the church now too. I seen a big church in in uh, uh, Chicago. I'm trying to think of the name of the church. The, the pastor's name is Hybels, Bill Hybels. He's got a big church, probably twenty thousand. Twenty. It's not my kind of church at all. It's uh, I, I would call Bill Hybels more of a motivational speaker than a than what I would call a pastor. He's got a giant mega church there in, this, in the suburb of Chicago. It's, uh, uh, you go in their parking lot, uh, uh, all you see in their parking lot is uh, Beamers and Mercedes and, and uh, all kinds of fancy. It's, it's rich person's church, suburb of, 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 of Chicago. And uh, they, they built it specifically not to look like a church. They, made, they built it like an office building because they don't want to look like a church or whatever. But he's got women coming out of the woodwork now saying that they used to be staff members or something and, and said this or that or made some, uh, looked at them wrong or something. You know, but this is, that's all this crazy thing. And you can't, you know what, uh, fellas, uh, it's going to get to the point where these lesbians and this Me Too bunch and these Hollywood whores and uh, all of these people, uh, they're trying to make it uh, politically correct now. That's just got, fellas, you're not even going to be able to say to a woman you look nice. 
if you tell a woman she looks nice, uh, they'll make you a sexual predator. I'm, I'm just telling you that that that's where we are right now in history, right now today. Yes, sir. Now, now we've got this uh, adult uh, film uh, movie for uh, trying to bring our president. I, I don't know. Yeah, someone mentioned that to me too. Some porn star or something said that she would not, 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 not. Well, let me, well, 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 let me tell you something about President Trump. I think he's got some good ideas, but he ain't no choir boy. No, nobody is. I mean, he run, uh, well, yeah, but some are more than others. Uh, he would, he, uh, Trump would, Trump would lean towards the womanizer kind of guy. I'm just telling you, that's that's the way he comes across. And I mean, that's the crowd he ran with. Now he's not a drinker, or not a smoker, but he's but but he's like the girls all through his life. He's like the girls, and and it's starting to come back. I mean, everybody knew that. Uh, they knew that when he was elected president. Uh, they had a thing on there uh, that, that that he told that that one newscaster, uh, a Hollywood newscaster. Uh, said some nasty things about a woman, and it didn't. It didn't even phase his election. He was elected anyway. Remember that when it, it was just shortly before the election. They saved that from before the election. They brought this. They brought this tape out where he making nasty comments about a woman, and uh, people didn't care. They did. So uh, President Trump, uh, uh, probably a lot of the allegations got some gravitas to him. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> No, he used to run with beautiful women, and and oh, that 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 was his deal. And uh, uh, whether he was uh, uh, whether he was with a porn star or not, I don't know. But I tell you what, uh, he's like the girls, and I, I tell you what, he's got a knockout. Oh, maybe I will get in trouble for saying this, but he's got a knockout, uh, uh, drop dead beautiful wife. I guarantee you that. <laughs> I mean, that woman's something to look at, isn't she? I mean, when she comes in the room, it's wow. And then that voice, that European voice, man, that'll get you in a minute. Well, now I'm, I'm going to be called a, a, a sexist and a womanizer now because I said that uh, Donald Trump's wife, look, I, I say that in front of my wife, I said, uh, we'd be sitting watching television and, and his wife would come on. I'd tell him, I says, man, that's a good looking woman, my wife. And my wife would agree with you. Yeah, she is good looking. And, and she's a nice, she seems like a nice lady too. I don't know, but she's sure good looking. That's for sure. And uh, used to be a model, so uh, he likes good looking women. And 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 he he ain't a bad looking guy for as old as he is. And he got money coming out of his ears, so he can get women if he wants, you know. So th that being that, uh, I, I'm not at all taking the side of any womanizers or or anything. But uh, but there's. Uh, but there's guys looking for women and there's women looking for men. Come on now. And and now they're coming out of the woodwork. And, and uh, you can tell the women looking for men by the way they dress and the way they act and the way they walk and the way they talk. Amen. Am I telling the truth or not? That's right. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not taking it away from any man, but... Uh, uh, I mean, you, you get these you get these lesbians. They want every woman to look dowdy, cut all their hair off, and wear gunny sacks. <laughs> How to get on that? Let's finish up the Holy Ghost. Amen. <laughs> For there are three that bear witness in heaven: the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one: Triune God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Where is God the Father? We'll finish on this. Where is God the Father right now? Seated in heaven on this throne. Where is uh, where is the Word? It calls it here. The Word in here. Uh, where is Jesus Christ the Word? Seated on His right hand. Where is the blessed third person of the Trinity, the blessed Holy Ghost? Where is He? Huh? He's He's in my heart. If you, I'm saved. He's in your heart. If you're saved, and He's doing His work. I pray the Holy Ghost will be here today working in our service. Amen. I pray we have the power of the Holy Ghost here as I preach and as you listen and all of that. We have a triune God, God the Father in charge. We have male leadership in the world. 
Ooh, I'm going to say this too. Okay, I'll just say it. Do you believe we should have a woman president? Who dare not say we should? I don't believe we should have a woman president. I believe we should have a man president. And I believe that. I'm just telling you. The Bible? Not any woman, actually. Not just not Hillary Clinton, but not any woman. Because God works through leadership. God works through leadership. And God always has male leadership. God the Father. God the Son. Jesus Christ. And he always the Father. And then he has kings. And he has authority. Male leadership. And any time you get away from that, and you put a woman in charge, you got trouble. They're frustrated. They're... They're not in I'm just telling you what the Bible says. I don't care if you like what I said. No, I'm too old to worry about it if you like what I say. I'm just telling you what the Bible says. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you. We have a God the Father, Jesus Christ, the Son, a male, and the blessed Holy Ghost. Probably be the, maybe the better picture of, of femininity and and uh, of a woman than anything, the Holy Ghost doing her work. Uh, doing doing the work of God, I, I maybe I'm wrong saying that. I don't know. I kind of think that way. I've heard other preachers say it. But anyway, uh, bless now. Help us to acknowledge the Trinity. We're going to have a wonderful uh, service. Fifteen minutes when church starts. Bless us now. Work in our midst in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, we'll start at ten o'clock right on time, and Billy Joe will be playing his guitar here to, to uh, for our enjoyment. And we, 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 we don't have coffee between uh, Sunday school and, and church. Is there coffee in that pot over there? It needs to be dealt with if it is. Is it empty pot? I have no idea. I don't know. Look like it might be coffee in the bottom of it. All right. Uh, Facebook, uh, we, we'll see you at, uh, where does it say finish? We'll see you. We'll be, we are just a little after 10. We'll be having church. God bless you. Come on back.